Hello, all my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for the weekend energy for November 13th through 15th of 2020. Many blessings to you all. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. When you schedule your appointment, I'll be more than happy to assist you. You'll notice there are two different links there as well. One to the Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop, where you'll find tarot decks and cool jewelry and the affirmation decks here, the oracle decks, also crystals and different things, and even this table mat. That is also now there. So you'll just check it out and peruse it if you've, if you've got a, an inkling. And also to the right, you'll see the learn more button for our Mystic Vibe Tribe membership if you'd like to be part of that. Always remember below the video, you'll see my blue eye icon down below the description. It'll take you to my homepage on YouTube where you can find the different playlists for all the different zodiac signs and weekly readings. There's all kinds of things I have on there, so check that out. And here we go into our energy. That's a beautiful combination. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine, for your presence. We have our three cards out. Oh, nice. The Justice card. This is being balanced and being brought to a place of equilibrium. It is also the Libra Major Arcana, and it means the right decision being made. If it's a legal matter, this could be something coming through that they're making a legal decision on. We have Patience. Little monk sitting there, very patient. I am patient, persistent, and disciplined in pursuing my goals. Patience and persistence are very, very, <laughs> they're best friends. Because you have to be persistently patient sometimes, right? And understand that um, things happen in their own timing. But it doesn't mean they're not going to happen. That's the, you have to continue to allow yourself to go through all the, all the, those the trials and tribulations of your you know sometimes we go the whole emotional gamut while we're waiting for something to come through um, and I think the whole energy of having to kind of flesh out your demons while while you're in the waiting process that's part of it is to get over the things that are normally your your hang-ups right we have communication I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. This is really important to remember. Sitting stoically silent does not always work in your favor. You have to be able to vocalize what you are claiming. So, universe, universe is going by your cues. Listen to your intuition. Beautiful energy, always right. Anybody that tells you not to follow your intuition is not telling you the truth. And discernment. This is important. The frequency of a discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of, sorry, I sound like I'm a first grader trying to read this. My eyes are not focusing. There we go. Glasses are blurry. I'm trying to find a clear spot. <laughs> the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. So, 
Discernment is like the balancing of the scales. Allowing yourself to be non-emotional, but to clearly focus and allow yourself to see the true picture without your emotional, um, uh, the, uh, the, without your ego and emotions attached to it, because our ego can also affect how we see something. So if we're taking it onto our personal energy, we're not able to separate ourselves from the decision, right? So a discerning eye is someone who can look at two things and not be swayed by them emotionally, but can see the clarity of which way it needs to go. Does that make sense? I don't know if I just muddied the waters on that, but I love and approve of myself. I approve all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I love and approve of myself. I, appro I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. Beautiful energy. Oh, that's the nice purple one. Let's see what it says. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I now choose to free myself from all destruct yeah, destructive fears and, and doubts. I am loved and I am safe. I release all fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I am loved and I am safe. Absolutely. I release all fears and doubts. That's one of the most important things we can do is to free ourselves from the extraneous stuff so that we can actually just go straight to the to the to the energy of, of creation. So the lover's energy is the Gemini Major Arcana. So you have the Libra Major Arcana here and the Gemini. The, this Lover's card also indicates being able to make a, a bond either with yourself, higher self, or with another person in your life. This can also, as a work energy, indicate you're doing what your soul is being called to do. So, very beautiful energy, and I love the flamingos. We have the Princess of Wands. So this is the Page of Wands in the Standard Tarot. So this is the princess in this beautiful Mystic Mondays. She is coming in to give you some information. It usually means something to do with action, work, some kind of, of offering even. And the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups sometimes in different decks can be forlorn, but this one is not. Um, and I know many of you have heard me say this before, but it's still my favorite thing to say. Um, she has a mermaid tail. I mean, that's like awesome. <laughs> so I, I am just, that is so fascinating that she has a mermaid tail. Now, her hair is flowing. That's she's, her hair is the dark night, right? But then you see this beautiful horizon of stars and she's got the entire, she's like contemplating her future. She's sitting on a crystal. It's beautiful. She's on a, on a beautiful crystal point here that she's sitting on. So things aren't too shabby. She's having a glass of wine. She's contemplating her future and imagining all the things that it could turn into. So she's manifesting brilliance here. So this is a really great weekend energy. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you again on Monday, my friends. Namaste.